Welcome back. A little while ago, a few short hours ago, NASA and SpaceX launched four more astronauts into the International Space Station, including the first black woman getting ready for a long duration stay on the station. Tom Costello was on hand for the launch earlier this morning. While most of the country was still fast asleep. Ignition. Freedom soars and the dragon flies forward. Yet another SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket roared to life in the Florida night sky. We are T plus 35 seconds in. On board, four NASA astronauts traveling at 17,500 miles per hour for a rendezvous with the space station with a stuffed turtle and monkey along for the ride. And this is them uh, in zero G, uh, yeah. two of them for the first time. While back on Earth, that signature SpaceX maneuver landing both rocket boosters on the bullseye. The dramatic morning coming just 39 hours after private Axiom astronauts return to Earth in a different SpaceX capsule. Dragon SpaceX, we see splashdown and mains cut. This morning's launch further cementing NASA's partnership with the commercial space industry. We are really in a golden era of space exploration. On board today, Jessica Watkins, set to become the first African-American woman on a long-duration stay. I am just really honored to be a part of the long legacy of uh, black astronauts and black, black women astronauts who came before me. But NASA also has big challenges. It's still working on technical problems for the test flight of its Artemis rocket program this summer, orbiting the moon without a crew, then carrying astronauts back to the lunar surface within two years, including a woman and person of color. Meanwhile, right now on the space station, Russian and American astronauts continue working together, even as the head of the Russian space agency has threatened to stop cooperating. Despite a war going on in Ukraine, I see that professional relationship with astronauts and cosmonauts and the ground teams, I see that continuing. 